welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Cincinnati Reds. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway, getting the nod in this one, Frankie Montas. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure. He's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that... They have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And misses inside. This guy who grew up in big league clubhouses, got to be a nice feeling, Siggy, when your father played the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom. Runner at first with no outs here. And that one is lifted in the air. One down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, this is one of the best teams in the league when it comes to drawing walks, Chris. So we'll probably see a very patient approach from them. Yeah, Boogie, that's often uh, what leads to a lot of runs scored. You get guys on base, you work that pitch count up for the opposing pitchers. And then you take advantage and they make mistakes. You get into that ball. Can't field it cleanly. Manny Machado Batting up to the play. The third baseman, number 13, Manny Machado. 0 uh. 1. Line drive. Benson brings it in for the third out. One left for San Diego. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Cincinnati, and today's starting pitcher, Matt Waldron. Oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats and you have to go with your own attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Line to left. Fair ball! Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Rudder takes off. Strike in there. No throw. Safe at third. It's a stolen base. And a pitch. Struck him out looking. Now batting Jamer Candelario. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. Ripped on a line. That's a base hit. Run scores. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jake Fraley. And there's the strike, Fraley, in his fourth year, 28 years old. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 
Grounder off the pitcher. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. That is good. And now they'll hustle out the to check it. on him. That High was low. quite a shot he took he as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson fouled off. He was late. One out. Runners at first and second. Now fly ball to right center. Merrill on his way over. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. That's out number two. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. They'll be contending with a knuckleballer today. And, of course, that's just not something you see very often in today's game. And, Boog, I'll speak uh, from firsthand experience. I feel for these hitters today because it's pretty difficult to get comfortable against a knuckleballer unless you see her more regularly than once every few years. So today it's going to be all about how this pitcher is able to keep the ball from spinning, get that movement floating towards the plate, and then late dive. Popped up, and he's got it. That'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Top of the second, and now the DH, Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth. Montas back to work. Off the mark there, and it's 1-0. Strike one. From a pitcher's perspective, one that's one. a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Popped in the air. Left field. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Here's Donovan Solano. That is good. The first baseman, Donovan Solano. And that one sliced foul. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third, Espinal. Whips it to first. And there's two away. Next for the Padres, Jackson Merrill. Jackson Merrill. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They trail here. One nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman. Jonathan India. Jonathan. And the pitch. India. Right through there for a strike. On the ground, Machado. Leadoff oh. man retired here in the second. Batting it. Santiago the Espino, baseman. the next to hit Santiago. for the Reds. Espino. Fastball for a strike. Going one. All one's the count. Just off the inside edge. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. That's out to center field. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report, or even who was going to be umpire? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. And that gets down for a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Reds leave one. They lead it one nothing. Out of the third Leading inning, the now at the plate, Luis Compusano. Luis Compusano. 
The wind of the pitch. There's your strike. Well, the key to his success is oh, getting boy. ahead early. Kicks and fires. Lifted in the air, right center field. Benson pulls it in on the run. So digging in now for San Diego, Hassan Kim. Into center and a base hit. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Luis Arise stands in. On the ground to first, could be two. There's one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Reds one, and the Padres nothing. And we're back. Leading Stepping in is the Reds. switch hitting shortstop, Not Ellie shortstop. De La Cruz. Ellie. De La Cruz. You know, one of the most memorable innings ever for Ellie happened in July 2023. In one inning, De La Cruz hit a two-out single to take the lead and then proceeded to do something that a Reds player hasn't done in more than 100 years. He stole second, third, and home now in that the that same inning. It finger. only took two pitches Jamer. for him to steal all three bases. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Jamer Candelario. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. That's in there, 0-2. Oh well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. One out, base is empty. One Mikhail ball, one and two. two strike. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the right side. Arise oh. on to first. Two up, two down. Up next in Cincinnati, the designated hitter, Jake Fraley. Two outs, base is empty. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds, reached on an infield single his first time. Nope. And the pitch is outside, ball one. And that one missing low. Well, usually a Do high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And a ground ball to first. And it gets by him. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second. The tag, and they Got get him. him. So a sloppy play there, but it ends the inning. Back here at Great American Ballpark, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Fernando Tatis Jr. The pitch. Montas hey. in his seventh season, oh, 31 count. years old. He joined the team as a free agent. You know, these Padres just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this He's offense out. would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in their bat. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball, and then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. In the air, out towards right center. And makes the grab. Out number two. Here's Manny Machado. The He's over one. 13. Manny Machado. 
That one drilled left field. Machado out of the play. And that's the third out. Three up, three down for San Diego. They're down one nothing. Ready to go for Ready the last go. half of the, the inning. Red. Here's the catcher, the Tyler catcher. Stevenson. Tyler Stevenson. The pitch. That one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Ball in. And that one fouled off. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Right into the plate. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now Mike Ford at the plate. Popped out and foul ground first time through. Slides, but it gets by him. Everything came together for him. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And hey. in the box now, no balls and a strike. Oh, and one. Next nope. one misses. One and one. Ford, the base runner at first with one out. And a base hit up the middle. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. One down. Next for Cincinnati, Santiago Espinal. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. Runners at first and second with one gone. In the air, center field. Moving under this one. Brings it in. Now better. So up next, right Will Benson. Will. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swing and a miss. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out. This one high in the air to left center. It falls in, and that's a base hit. Runner from second crosses the plate, and they lead by two. Comes through with the RBI. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Number 26 stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. That catches the top part of the zone, and that's strike two. On the ground the first, Solano. He handles it himself. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Jake Cronenworth. Montas back to work. That one missing inside. You know, these Padres just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Donovan Solano, the next up for the Padres. He's 0 for 1. And the first offering is not close. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. Out towards right center field. He's got it. And there's one down.
So digging in, now Jackson back. Merrill. Over one so Jackson far. Merrill. That oh. misses. Ball one. The Reds leading by two. Started to swing, held up. Ground ball could be two. There's one. That's an out. On to four. Double play. So they've been held scoreless through five. It's the Reds two and the Padres nothing. here in Cincinnati bottom of the Reds. inning now it's going to be shortstop. Ellie De La, Cruz. De La Cruz the pitch in the air left field down the line Profar makes the grab and a quick out number one almost a loud That's start to the field. inning on that first pitch man he's going to want Jason. that one back no doubt Candelario. and first offering is fouled off Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Out towards left center. Merrill sizing this one up. And there's two down. Now bat the designated. Two outs, base is empty. Jake Fraley, the next Fraley. to hit for the Reds. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. And it drops in. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Oh, this has been a really nice game now at the plate for him. Hector. He looks locked in. Tyler. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add a pair. It's 4 nothing. Now, no, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Four in the box again. Takes a strike. That one hit to right. Drifts towards it. That is the inning. Cincinnati plates a pair on this homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Top of the sixth Leading inning, and here's the catcher, Luis the catcher. Campusano. Luis Campusano. And the pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. He makes it safely with a leadoff double in the sixth. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly oh, executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Man, it's second. Foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. Now fly ball to right center. Benson on the move to the gap. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in for San Diego. Luis Arias. One for two. And first offering is fouled off.
Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses, and the count is one and two. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. Ouch. Right, he had two strikes base. on him, and he hit him. Boog, do you uh, have any memorable hit-by-pitches yourself? Right Maybe high Fernando school, college? Tatis. No, but I almost Junior. did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. This splits between April and May there. Back there. Goodbye, home run! Tatis goes yard. His ninth homer of the year. It's 4-3. He wasted no time in that at bat, swinging at the first pitch, and he punished it. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Profar in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next pitch oh, is out. outside. Montas, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself oh, into a good count. Man, Just kept man. it simple. Played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Grounder might be two. Beats the second out there. On the field. Double play. A Fernando Tatis Tater for San Diego. It's now a 4-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back. Lead well, we go bottom six. Rest. And ready to hit the now for baseman. Cincinnati. Jonathan, Jonathan India. India. The pitch. Ball, oh, that's it. Well, these Reds doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Only two strikeouts so far, and obviously they've been able to pick up plenty of hits, so it's been an impressive one. And that should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pitch was in and off the plate. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Matt Waldron done for the afternoon, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Jeremiah Estrada. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. And now it's going to be Santiago Espinal. Oh, that's inside. First offering, and it just misses. And you know, that strikeout total, only two so far, really tells you they're not just running into good luck and getting hits Got to him. fall. They're earning those knocks. Kim with the throw to first. Like One away, bottom of the sixth. And stepping in is the... Ball in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Right through there for a strike. No One out and a runner at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Ground ball left side. Got him. He's out. Now bad. Now left the left fielder. fielder. One Take for go. three. Heard of it.
in there for strike one. Good Whoa, eye right there. Now. Two outs. That smash towards center. Merrill makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So one left for Cincinnati, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Brent Suter. He's been so good against lefties. Now and now the DH, Jake Cronenworth. The pitch. On a line. Could be extra bases. Here's the throw into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, yeah. and he did it perfectly. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with him. a chance to even this ball game up. So the tying run at second, and that one fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Line drive and a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The throws offline. He's safe. And this game is tied in the seventh. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. Merrill having a lot more success on the road this season. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Swing and a chopper. Slings to second. Relay to first. Double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And now the catcher comes up to him. Luis Campusano. On the ground to third. Sends it to oh. four. That's the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now tied 4-4. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Great American Ballpark, the here's the shortstop at the, the play. Shortstop. Ellie De La Cruz. Estrada, 25 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2017. Right through there for a strike. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Campusano makes the grab one away. And now the center fielder, Jamer Candelario. That one's in there. Strike one. And he hits a ground ball right side. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. And base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Lifted in the air, right center field. Tatis after it. Nabs it, and that will end the inning. So one hit is all they get. We look ahead to inning number eight, and we are tied 
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Nick Martinez. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Now it's the shortstop, Hassan Kim. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. And here it comes. So now back to the top of the order. So the batting order turns over at the play. Luis Arias. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Oh, the pressure was already high, and now it's been cranked up to another level. Man, his head must be spinning out there on the mound. He's got to find a way to slow things down. That breathing technique, Boog. Let everything out. Oh, uh, one's the count. Tied at four. Good oh. eye in that spot. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Lucas Sims loosening up for manager David Bell. Mole, a left hander, also throwing. Got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And a foul ball. He stays alive. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Right-handed reliever. Ball two. No, we used to say, if you're scared, get a dog. Go the fastball, man. If you're scared. Get a dog, man. Just, just get a dog. Ground ball right side could be two to second for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Oh, a very fast development play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Now batting jerks in pro far. Well struck, deep right field, went back, and out of here! And they lead it, it's 6-4. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And now it's Manny Machado. And first offering is fouled off. Two out spaces empty. I mean, he's pitching right now like a guy who doesn't have more than a 93 mile per hour fastball at best. Sends it to Ford. Machado out of the play. And that is that. Two across on this San Diego homer. It's a two-run lead now at 6-4. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Cincinnati. And it'll bring up Mike Ford. The first baseman. Mike Ford. And a pitch. And ball one. In the air, out towards right center. Tatis makes the grab, and there's one down. The batter, the second baseman. Jonathan, Jonathan India at the plate. India. Swing it a foul straight back. That one finds the zone, and it's not a good two. Swing! 
swing and a miss struck him out. Well, oh, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Espinal stands in now and watches strike one. That one to first, and he can't come up with it. Flips it behind his back. Bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. And one, two, three, go the Reds. And the score remains 6-4. Sam Mole into the game. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. The designated hitter, now the DH for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. On the ground, right side. Sends it to Got first. It. That takes care of Cronenworth. The bat. The first baseman. And now the first baseman, Donovan, Donovan Solano. Solano. Check that swing, and that's a ball. That's, that's down and in. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Bounce to the left side. And it gets by him. Now that the he kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And that one fouled off. <laughs> Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Luis Campusano digs in now. The catcher, Luis Campusano. Swing and a ball lifted left field under it. Makes the catch. And that is that. One hit, one left. And 9 1 2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Padres six and the Reds four. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Robert Suarez. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. We see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. The right fielder. And now Will Benson. That one ripped. Way back there. It's a ball. He flexes his power with that swing. It's six five. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Fought off foul. A one-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And he drops it down the third baseline. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. So up next, Ellie De La Cruz. Up next is Cincinnati. Not short shot. Ellie De La Cruz. And for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Hey, Move over to first, try to keep him close. One run game, bottom nine. Oh, that's and that's outside. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered. Is it? Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. 
in to score from first. And they've tied it in the bottom of the ninth. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Winning run stands at second. And that one popped to short under it. Makes the catch for the out. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Calls it in, two away. In now for the Reds, Tyler Stevenson. He's already homer here in this one. Edge of the zone, call the strike. One one. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Just yep, off the outside part of the plate. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Fights that one away, still one and two. Winning run and scoring position with two away. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back to the ballpark. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. Listen, there's absolutely no. reason to pitch to this guy right here you nibble you see if he'll expand his zone but don't give him anything to hit if you walk him nope. not a big deal you have a double play opportunity one, set. No now it's belted deep to left way out of here home run he circles the bases his seventh home run of the season. It's 8-6. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. For the Reds, Lucas Sims. Number 39. Just trying to keep this one close Luke, here, yeah. and this is where a bullpen can give their yeah. players a chance to fight back into the game. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. And a good eye there. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. On the ground to the left, De La Cruz. Fires across the diamond. One away in the top half of the 10. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. He's already homered in this game. This one in the air center field. Candelario snags it for the second out. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder. Jerickson Profar. Profar gets a piece there. Two down, nobody on. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. And he'll two. And that one is inside ball one. And he deals. 
Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count is two and two. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in and here in extra innings. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. That gets down for a hit. And his hot hitting continues. Well, they kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Here's Machado. And there at the knees. That's strike one. And that one upstairs. Righty delivers. Out towards right center field. He gets down a base hit. Caught in a rundown now. Back to back singles. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And there's a foul ball. Corners are occupied with two down. Close nope. but oh, called a ball. And it's a ball to strike. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Way inside gets out of the way. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Smoked on the ground a second. India over the first in time. That takes care of Cronenberg. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, but two are left stranded. Last chance to even thing. We head to the bottom of inning number 10. And we're back onto the bottom of the 10th. And here's the first baseman, Mike Ford. Suarez back to work. And that one fouled off. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. And down on strikes he goes. And one ball. So digging in, Jonathan India. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Machado sizes this one up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. That's in there. Strike one. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the last half of the 10th. And he pumps in a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores on the play. One of the hardest things to do in the game, to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity. And he came hey. through for his club right there. Benson in the box now. Takes strike one. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy.